In this unit, we'll be looking at angles and parallel lines. In this lesson, we're going to look at complementary, supplementary, and bisect angles. All right, hi everybody. So in this lesson, we're going to look at complementary, supplementary angle, sorry, complementary and supplementary angles, and we're going to look at bisecting angles. Okay? So we're going to start off with complementary and supplementary angles. And th this is just about vocabulary, okay? So when two angles add up to 90 degrees, they are complementary, okay? So in other words, if, if you take 90 degrees and subtract one of the given angles, the result that you're going to get is going to be the complement to this angle. So because 57 and 33, when you add them up, you get 90, 57 and 33 are complementary angles, okay? Uh, and it works either way here. 90 minus 57 is 33. 90 minus 33 is 57. So just you want to get that in, in your head there, that, that when two angles add up to 90 degrees, the word that we use is that they are complementary. Okay? On the other hand, when two angles add up to 180, they are supplementary. Okay, so this is, again, this is just a matter of vocabulary. It's just learning what the word means. So 122 plus 58 equals 180. So therefore, these two angles are supplementary. If you take 180 minus 122, you're going to get 58. Or 180 minus 1, two, okay, that's the same thing here. That should have said 180 minus 58 degrees is equal to 122 degrees. Okay? So complementary angles add up to uh, 90 degrees. They are The two angles are complements of each other. Uh, two angles that add up to 180 degrees are supplementary angles. Those two angles are supplements of each other here. Now, if you subtract, okay, so if you're trying to figure out what the what the complement is or what the, the supplement is here, if you add them, uh, sorry, if you subtract them and you get a negative number, we're going to say that there is no complementary or supplementary angle. Okay, it just doesn't exist. So we're going to write in this particular case here for now, we're going to write NA, not applicable, or none, something like that, but we're not going to write zero. And the reason why we don't want to write that is because although although it's it's not it's it's correct to make the assumption that like zero means nothing here, but in this particular case, zero is actually the measure of an angle. Okay? There is a zero degree angle here, and that's not what we're trying to say. So we want to make sure that we're using the correct response to this. We don't want to say zero, we want to say not applicable or none. Okay? Now here's just a little cartoon to help you figure this out here. So Two complementary angles are going to add up to 90. Two supplementary angles add up to 180 here. It says, I just remember that C comes before S and 90 comes before 180. That makes it easy. And if, if that helps, that's awesome. So now let's take a look at uh, finding some complementary and supplementary angles. Okay, so this question says, find the complementary angles to the following angles, okay? So here we go, and it's, this is actually really, really straightforward here. So let's pull out the calculator here. If we're looking for complementary angles, it's so straightforward. We are simply going to go 90 minus the angle that we're given. So 90 minus 50, the answer is 40 degrees, okay? That's my complement right there to 50 degrees. 90 degrees minus 345. Now you can probably guess right now where this is going. But 90 minus 345, I'm just going to do it. And we get this negative 255 degrees here. Now you're going to see later on in a later course that, that there is something that is that is meant by this okay, as an angle here. But for right now, we're going to simply say that there is no complement. Okay? Or not applicable okay, or none here. Down here, we're going to go 90 minus 11 degrees, okay? So 90 minus 11, 79 degrees. There's, there's my complement. Over here, and we just, we just keep doing it here, 90 minus 122. And again, you can probably already see where this is going to go. Okay, I get negative 32 degrees here. That means that there, there is no complement. So we might, again, we might write NA. 90 degrees minus 47 degrees. And we get 43 degrees. So there's the complement of 47. 
and then 90 degrees minus 9 degrees and 81 degrees is its complement. And there you go. So it's just a matter of memorizing what that vocabulary means, okay? Because you'll notice, again, it's the same thing over and over again. We're not, we're not changing things up. It's not becoming, uh, there's no exceptions really here. We're not, you know, ad adapting to a slightly different versions of the question to make it more confusing. It's, it's the same thing over and over. <coughs> now we're going to do find uh, the supplementary angles to the same angles. And with this one, we're simply going to subtract from 180. So, again, we pull out the calculator, 180 minus 50, and we get 130 degrees. That's its supplement. 180 degrees minus 345. Okay, 180, and again, you're probably seeing where this is going to go. And I get negative 165 degrees. And again, we might write that there is none. Okay. There is no comp, uh, supplement to that. Now, it's important, and I should have said this probably with the earlier one here, it is important that you get these in the right order. Don't, don't do 345 minus 180. You're going to get a positive answer if you do that. You might get a little confused as to what the answer is supposed to be. You want it to be 180 minus the given angle. Or, with the previous question, 90 minus the, pre, uh, the given angle. So here be 180 degrees minus 11 degrees. So here we go. We'll pull out that calculator. We just keep doing it. 180 minus 11. We get 169 degrees. So that's the, the supplement of 11 degrees here. Now, in the previous question, it didn't work. Okay. In the previous question, when I did this one, used 120, we got, it doesn't apply here. But in this case, we're getting... A nice angle, 58 degrees. That's okay. 180 degrees minus 47 degrees. 180 minus 47. 133 degrees. And then one more time here, 180 degrees minus 92 degrees. 180 minus 92. And we get 88 degrees. That's it. That's really all you have to do. I hope that makes sense. Okay, now we're going to look at something a little bit different here. We're going to look at bisect angles, okay, or angle bisectors. Uh, when an angle is split directly in half, okay, by a ray or a line that we call an angle bisector, okay, I want to make sure that that vocabulary is clear. I, I might have used that wrong actually just a second ago here. But this line right here is going to be the bisector. It's going to take this larger angle here and cut it into two equal angles here, okay? And each resulting angle is called the bisect angle. Okay. So you add those two angles together, you get the original, and these two are going to be exactly the same. So you take the original angle, divide it by 2 to get the bisect angle. If you've got the bisect angle, you multiply it by 2 to get the original angle. That's it. That's all it really uh, has to be. It's as simple as that. So with that understanding, let's take a look at some examples. Okay, so here we go. What is the resulting angle after the following angles are bisected? Okay, so remember, if we're going to bisect the angles, we're going to divide by 2. So 96 degrees divided by 2. I can just pull out the calculator here for this. 96 divided by 2. Whoops, sorry. We get 48. So the bisect angle is 48 degrees. 22 degrees divided by 2. And again... We just go to a calculator, divide by 2, and we get 11 degrees. 75 degrees divided by 2. Now, this one's going to work out eh, not quite so pretty as the previous two, but that's okay. 37.5 degrees. Okay, It doesn't really matter that it, that ended up with a, kind of a, an ugly little decimal there, um, because I can still do it, right? I can still cut it in half. Not a big problem here. Now, given the bisected angles below, what were the original angles? So in this case here, this is, remember, this is all about knowing how to interpret the vocabulary here. These are the bisect angles here. So what I'm going to do is multiply by 2 to get the, the final result here. So this will be 81 multiplied by 2, and we get 162. 
Here it'll be 44.5 degrees multiplied by 2. So 44.5 multiplied by 2. I get 89. 116 degrees multiplied by 2. 232 degrees. And there you go. So it's just a matter of, again, being able to read the question and know whether they want you to divide by 2 or multiplying by 2. If they want the bisect angle, okay, then you have to divide the given angle by 2. If they want the original angle, you have to multiply that given ang the, the given angle there because it'll be the bisect angle. You've got to multiply that by 2. Now, let's quickly take a look at uh, this chart here. We should be able to go through and fill in all of these now. So, for example, I'm going to give myself a little space here. 48 degrees, what's its complement? Well, that's going to be 90 minus 48. So, 42 degrees. How do I get its supplement? Well, I take 180 and I minus 42. And I get 138 degrees. How do I get the bisect angle here? I take 48 degrees and I divide it by 2 and I get 24 degrees. Wonderful. Now, let's keep going here. So remember, 22 degrees, this is under the complement, uh, okay, this is under the, the complement um, column here. So if I go backwards, remember how that worked. If I give you an angle and ask you for the complement, basically it's going to be 90 minus the 22. Both these angles are complements of each other. So that's going to get me 68 degrees. So the complement of 68 is 22. The complement of 22 is 68. Now, this is the original angle that we're working with, though. Okay, so this is still what I want to work with when I come over here to figure out its supplement. So this is going to be 180 minus 68 to get the supplement, and we get 112. And then for me to bisect that, what I'm going to ask you to do is take that 68 and divide it by 2, and we get 34. Next one. 149. Now remember, this is the supplement. So to get the original angle, I know that they're supplements of each other. So this is going to be 180 minus 149, and I get 31. To get the complement... And remember, this is the angle that I'm going to use here. I'm going to take this angle, and I'm going to subtract that from 90. So 90 minus 31, and I get 59. And then to bisect it, remember, it's this angle that I'm bisecting, so it'll be 31 divided by 2. And I get 15.5 degrees. And now finally, I've given you 87 degrees. This is the bisect of this one. So what I've been doing to go from this column to this column is I've been taking this angle, dividing by 2 to get this angle. So if I want to go backwards, I'm going to take, sorry, I want to make sure this is clean, 87, I'm going to multiply it now by 2 to get 174. So that's now the original angle. Now, to get its complement, I would go 90 minus 174, and I think you can tell where this is going to go. I get a negative answer there. So there is no complement to this particular angle. Now, to get its supplement, I'll just go 180 minus 174, and I get a small, but still an okay angle, of 6 degrees. Okay, So I hope, I hope this little bit here makes sense. I hope you understand how we're, how we're working this thing through here. Okay. Remember, when you're looking for the complement, complementary angles add up to 90 supplementary angles add up to 180. And then when you're looking for the angle bisect, I divide the given angle by 2. And then you can always go backwards uh, with the opposite operation there.